Do it right. Bait trapping wild horses. Premiers on YouTube, 14th of September. I hope you'll take the time to watch the video film. To be clear, the video is not entertainment. It's strictly for educational purposes. But please do watch it if you're at all interested in understanding how we can capture wild horses with a minimum of stress in a way that will promote trust and ultimately lay the foundation for these wonderful horses to become safe and at peace in their new environment amongst humans. The film will show in some detail how a band of 19 wild horses, Mustangs, located in the Mesa Verde National Park, which covers an area of about 52,000 acres in southwest Colorado. They were caught and ultimately shipped to Mustang Camp in New Mexico, where they were then trained to be handled safely and made ready for adoption. The bait and trap method we show in the film does take more time than conventional methods, which mostly involve chasing and driving the horses either from horseback or helicopter, with no consideration of low-stress stockmanship. The term low-stress stockmanship was coined by renowned stockman Bud Williams to differentiate his methods from traditional livestock handling. This term applies solely to the handling of livestock, including horses, and moving them in a way that does not cause them to be fearful and panic. Bud's methods, techniques, and rules of how to proceed are based in behavioral science and ethology. But before the application of low-stress stockmanship methods were employed, in this situation with the wild horses at Mesa Verde, it was necessary to build trust. Because if trust was not there, and the horses had developed negative associations with people, perhaps even fear, those methods would have been much more difficult to execute. In my experience with training wild horses, many of them have not had positive experiences with humans. They distrust people, and it's a real task to regain that trust. Often they will only trust certain people, and don't view humans as a species to be trusted. In addition, those horses are often injured during the capture process because the level of fear is so extreme that they hurt themselves trying to avoid the handling and processing used in traditional methods. As the great horseman Tom Dorrance once said, let your idea become the horse's idea. The use of behavioural science in presenting the necessary elements for their survival, food and water, and allowing the horses the time to habituate to what they see as unnatural in their environment, humans, vehicles and steel corral panels, they will develop a sense of trust and confidence in their new surroundings. In the video, you will see that by delivering water on a very regular basis and slowly building the trap around the water, the horses became habituated to the new surroundings and learned that people are associated with good things because there were no negative interactions. This behavior principle is called contextual learning. They associate a place with good things, as do people. Then when the panels are erected, they are just in that place which is a good place in their minds. Ultimately, this positive association made it more natural for them to follow the direction of low-stress stockmanship as they were loaded onto the trailer. A few months later, as the horses have been trained and are getting adopted, what we see is that they universally trust people. That trust is the fundamental aspect of good and ethical human-animal interactions. Building that trust over time and using a behaviorally based management scheme was the key to successful horse-human interactions after they were trapped. You're invited to make comments on the YouTube page. We're trying to do the best we can for these horses. Thank you for your interest.